Hello and welcome back to another one of my crazy projects. Today's crazy project is this crazy machine here. It's been driving me nuts for a long time. I'm sure if you've had this problem, you'll uh, know exactly what I'm talking about. And no, I'm not referring to the cat. I'm referring to this remote control. This is from the DJI Phantom 4 Pro. Um, many of the DJI products had this problem. The battery in this thing will not charge. In fact, it, uh, I saw it progressively go from bad to worse. Um, charging used to bring it to two to three bars, and then it was down to two bars, and then it was down to one bar, and then it wouldn't charge at all. This thing would flash, and of course the battery was uh, not charging, so it was just beeping all the time. So many of you have probably seen online and in the forums that you need to get your hands on one of these little guys here and bake the um, controls or the circuit board, uh, some of the uh, integrated circuits on the board may have a loose solder joint. It's hard to say. That's one of the theories. And uh, by reflowing the solder on one of those, uh, you could potentially cure your problem, or of course, you could potentially burn your board, fry your board, fry the components on the board, um, and make it completely unusable. Now, the board itself is this guy right here, and I'm sure you've seen this in a few videos or otherwise on YouTube. Um, this it's it's sort of up in the air what the problem is. I've I've tried several things. I've tried just checking the contacts here at the uh, charger. This is where the battery connects to the board itself. And they're good. And then over here where the charger comes in, and I did a terrible job. I had a, a way too large soldering iron when I when I heated those up. Uh, since then, gotten this guy over here, which has a, an additional uh, soldering um, iron that you can apply to the side here and control the temperature with, uh, but it also has this SMD rework center, which has the, um, the temperature and the airflow settings of this little guy, along with variable tips, which this one here is probably just large enough to be working with the IC that we're looking at. Now, several people have suggested just go over the whole board. Some people have said focus both sides of the board in the area of the battery and of the charger. And, you know, some people have had success. Some people have put their whole boards in the oven. I wouldn't do that. That's a, a rather um, severe solution to a problem. I like to go into something knowing what I'm doing. And in this case, I didn't. So I followed those instructions, first of all, and I had success. Yay. It worked. Worked for a couple of days, worked for a couple of charges. Now I came in from flying and I, I was flying outside. I set my controller uh, on the counter, uh, which just happens to have a dishwasher mounted in underneath it and during the dry cycle it gets kind of warm uh, next time i plugged it into charge after that it didn't work which is suggesting to me that the problem may have to do with heat and um, i don't know why but I, i've got a few theories here that uh, you know it's loosening up a bad solder joint that's that's possible however um, after doing a little bit more research before attempting this again like I say, I, I prefer to know what I'm doing here, and, and I can't, certainly didn't at that stage, but doing a little more research, uh, some people suggested this chip right here next to the LED charging indicators uh, is the chip that's at fault. And I did get a, a um, jeweler's magnifying glass and take a look at that chip. I got the number off it, which I don't have uh, with me right now. I looked it up online, and that is a chip that's re uh, responsible for checking the charge state of a battery. Uh, you can buy them in bulk online. They're really cheap. Uh, the problem is they're so small. I have no idea how you would replace one unless you knew somebody that was, you know, good at good at replacing ICs. Um, not only that, the board's coated with something, and and I'm not familiar with that. I'm going to assume it's a, a type of epoxy. Definitely seems like a type of plastic. Uh, you can see it here, maybe where my um, tip of my metal screwdriver is. It's not good to be using metal on here, but. There is a, a bit of a uh, a line that runs across here, and that is a plastic. Now, one thing I noticed when I zoomed in was that right here on this chip, on this side of this chip, the close side, the uh, there was a hole in that plastic. And to be honest, the black part of this here looks like it was burnt away. The black uh, outer plastic casing of this chip was burnt away around the contacts, and I could see some gold inside there indicating that I don't think there's a fault with that. There could be an issue with uh, heat. And also, um, when I heated these to, to re-solder, reflow them with an old soldering gun, I may have spattered some uh, solder 
that may have landed over there and just burnt that coating. So don't want to say for sure. I did reheat this using 300 degrees on this for 30 seconds, I believe was posted somewhere in, in one of the forums. And guess what? I came back in, turned it on, and uh, or uh, reassembled everything, put it on the charger, and I did get three out of four bars. So indicates um, somewhat of a success. We might be in the correct area. I'm going to give it a try again, and this time I'm going to increase it to 350 for 30 seconds and see if we're getting any closer. Now, I, I created a small shield that uh, isolates this chip, at least from these LEDs, uh, just a little bit around here. It's just a little piece of aluminum or tin or whatever I had laying around. And that seemed to um, just direct the flow there along with this rather small tip. So, but it's important, I think, to be careful here too, just remembering that these are coated with some type of plastic or epoxy on the outside. You can see it again around this IC. There's a definite line there. And we're going to give it a try. This time, I hope I can get four out of four. This thing has been out of service for about a year. Getting this guy back up and running is going to be priority. I am going to go ahead now, and this will be my third run through this. Um, second run focused specifically on this chip. And we'll heat her up a little bit more this time, see if it does anything. I'm also going to re-examine it afterwards with the magnifying glass to see if that uh, plastic hole got any bigger, just to indicate whether or not there's any type of damage being caused by heating up using the, the rework station here. So I will get back to you as soon as I do that. We'll take a look, we'll put it back together, and we'll chart it. Ladies and gentlemen, proudly presenting the completed project. And that was successful, actually. I'm uh, quite happy with that. What I did different this time is that um, part was baked in uh, or with the reflow iron at 350 for 35 seconds. And uh, that's the difference. I tried to keep it focused on that part and area. Oh, I would say no more than an inch off of it, probably. And I came back and I plugged it back in and charged and we've got the magical four bars. This time it's fully charged. My suggestion though probably would be due to that, um, if that chip is indeed the problem, and, and I would assume it is, it's probably reporting the wrong voltage to the uh, system. Uh, therefore, you know, give us the indicators that we have. If that's the case, uh, my suggestion would be to uh, keep this thing cool while it's charging. Probably keep it in a cool place in general, but don't let it heat up while charging, possibly keeping um, like a laptop cooler uh, underneath it or, you know, a fan right beside it, just blowing over top of it, for example. But uh, a way to keep it cool might prolong that, uh, you know, repair even further so that you can continue using the thing. In the meantime, this seems to work and it's going to get me back in the air. Uh, if it fails after a couple of flights. I'll also post that in the uh, description or in the comments uh, so that you know. But overall, I'm happy this time. I've got a four bar uh, battery indicator and uh, I'm going to take it off flying. Thank you. Bye.